You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Captain Caillou. Caillou was waiting for his grandpa to arrive. They were going to the park today. Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Caillou. Are you ready for a very special day in the park? Yes. Why is it so special? What are we doing? What's in the box? Hmm. Hold on there. You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was very curious. He wanted to know what was in the box. You'd better get going. The quicker you get to the park, the quicker you'll find out what's in there. Yeah, let's go, Grandpa. Bye, Daddy. Come on. <laughs> Wait for me. Caillou and Grandpa rode the bus to the park. Caillou loved riding the bus but he still really wanted to know what was in the box. Tell me what's in the box, Grandpa. I'll give you a hint. It's something we can play with at the park. Hmm. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? Hmm. Caillou thought about all the things that might be in there. Wait a minute. You could be right. Nope. It's not a helicopter. <laughs> Grandpa. Soon they were in the park. Is it a teddy bear? Nope. Is it a real bear? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the boats! <laughs> Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. Look! They're having a race! Boy, I wish we had a... <gasps> I know! A sailboat! Made it myself. Do you like it? Yeah! Does it really sail? We'll soon find out. Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. I'm steering it! <laughs> That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? I bet we'd win. Sure. Caillou imagined he was a real captain of a real boat. Ahoy there, Captain Caillou! Hi! My boat is faster than all the other boats. I'm faster than the fishes. I'm even faster than the birds. My boat is the fastest boat ever. Are you ready for a race? 
I'll just get you lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Emma. That's Emma. She's in my play school. Well, she's going to race with us today. Her boat is the red one, and that boy over there has the green boat. I bet we're gonna win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. <laughs> but remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go! My boat's faster than your boat. No, it isn't. Come on. Caillou really wanted to win the race, so he decided to make the little boat go faster. Be careful, Caillou, not too fast. Look, we're winning! Faster, faster! Oh, no! Oh, that's too bad. Better luck next time. <gasps> Caillou felt bad that his boat had made Emma's boat tip over. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. <laughs> it tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Here's your boat, Emma. Why don't you come over and say congratulations to the winner? Okay, Grandpa. Soon, it was time to go back home. So are you disappointed you didn't win the race? I was a little, but I like being Captain Caillou, even if I don't win. Would you like to be captain again next Saturday afternoon? Yeah! Next time, I won't go so fast. Then I won't tip over. That's a very good idea, Captain Caillou. Jolly good. The loudest noise. Caillou was having fun playing with his fire truck. This is the fire chief. Fire at the old shipyard! Let's go! You're being too loud, Caillou. Rosie's trying to sleep. Sorry, Mommy. Why don't you play outside? Caillou didn't really want to go outside. But he knew that outside he could make as much noise as he wanted. Okay. Coming, Rosie. There's the fire! Come on, we can put it out! Caillou couldn't even hear his fire truck because Daddy was making even more noise than he was. the lawnmower inside, Mommy would tell you to be quiet. <laughs> then it's a good thing that the grass grows outside and not inside, isn't it? <laughs> That's silly, Daddy. Phew! Cutting grass is thirsty work. I could sure use a glass of juice right now. How about you? Yes, please. Caillou and Daddy got themselves some apple juice, and it sure tasted good. That's a sad sound. Why is that? Because my juice is all gone. You know, you're right. It is a sad sound. Here, let me put that away. 
bet you wondered if there was anything that was louder than Daddy's lawnmower. It is! Boy, that truck makes the loudest sound ever! I know a sound that's even louder than that. Really? What is it? It's a surprise. We have to take a little drive to hear it. Come on! Is that the loudest sound, Daddy? It's loud, all right, but it's still not as loud as what I'm going to show you. <laughs> That's a yummy sound. You said it. But it's not the loudest sound, is it, Daddy? Nope. Caillou was very curious to know where Daddy was taking him and what the loud sound would be. Hmm. Caillou thought Daddy had made a mistake. He couldn't hear any loud sounds at all. But it's really quiet here. Don't worry. It won't be quiet for long. Oh, boy, did you see that? Daddy, did you see that plane? I saw it. Did you hear how loud it was? I wish we could see some more airplanes. We can. I think I see another one coming in for a landing. Love planes. He imagined what it would be like to be a real pilot. I'm up in the clouds. Where have you two been? Daddy took <gasps> me to see... Caillou suddenly remembered that Rosie was sleeping, and he had to be quiet. Oops. Sorry, Mommy. That's okay. Now, what were you saying? Daddy took me to the airport to see the planes. They were really, really loud. They were even louder than the recycling truck and the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is loud. It looks like you're about ready for a nap, too. Do you like airplanes, Gilbert? I like them because they're so loud. <laughs> Caillou decided that even though he liked the loud sound of airplanes, he loved the soft sound of Gilbert purring even more. Up. 
Caillou, Caillou, I'm so proud of you. What do you want to do when you grow up? Caillou, Caillou, there's so much to see. What do you want to be when you grow up? You can be a writer or learn to play guitar. You can be an astronaut and reach for the stars. You can be an explorer or play on a team. A doctor, a pilot, just follow your dream. Just believe in yourself and set your goals high. You can do anything. Just don't be afraid to try. Caillou, Caillou, if you only knew how proud I am of you as I watch you as you grow up. Caillou's first wedding. Today was a very important day. Daddy's friend Jonas was getting married. And Caillou and Rosie were to be part of the wedding party. There you go. You look very handsome. Is this wedding going to be like yours and Mommy's wedding? It'll be mostly the same, but our wedding wasn't at a ranch. And we didn't have you and Rosie to help out because you weren't even born yet. Oh, good, you're ready. Let's practice what you and Rosie have to do for the wedding. Caillou had a very important job to do. He had to carry the wedding rings down the aisle. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's practice with just one ring. Now, honey, you carry the pillow with the rings down the aisle, okay? Here you go, sweetie. Let's pretend there are rose petals in here. You walk down the aisle and throw them in front of you. <laughs> Good. Caillou, when Daddy asks you for the rings, you give them to him. And you'll know it's all over when the bride and groom kiss like this. <laughs> OK, I think we're all ready. Let's get going. It's going to be a long day. I want you two to try and stay nice and clean. I can't wait to see Jonas's horse, Lucky. I hope he remembers me from last time. Caillou decided to bring some carrots for Lucky. Soon they were at Jonas's ranch. Grandma and Grandpa were already there. Welcome. I'd like you all to meet Kristen, my bride-to-be. Are you two all ready to be in a wedding? Can I go see Lucky? We have to have another practice first. Right over there. Yay! Caillou, if you want people to move out of the way, you say, excuse me. Excuse me? Why, sure thing, little partner. They practiced one more time. Grandma pretended to be Kristen because she was busy getting ready. <laughs> Not now, sweetie. Let's just pretend to throw them. Do you, Kristen, take Jonas to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. <laughs> With this ring, I thee wed. That was perfect. You're a wonderful ring bearer, Caillou. And you're a great little flower girl, Rosie. Can I go see Lucky now? Sure. As a matter of fact, I need a little help from you. Caillou felt very grown up. Jonas needed his help to guide Lucky toward the wedding buggy. Is he going in straight? Yes. Back up, Lucky. Back up. Caillou thought the buggy was like the ones that cowboys used to drive in the old days. Go! Time for a drink. All done, Lucky? Then let's get going. Please? When we 
you get to town, you can have all the carrots you want. Yeehaw! Go, Lucky, go! Howdy, partner. This is for you, Lucky. <laughs> I brought a carrot for Lucky. Can I give it to him? Sure. Put it on your hand and hold it out flat, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. You don't want to get dirty. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, let's get you cleaned up. I tried to stay clean, but the hay stuck to me. Caillou almost didn't recognize Kristen. She sure looked different in her wedding dress. Don't spill them, Rosie. And do you, Jonas, take Kristen to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. With this ring, I thee wed. <gasps> Caillou couldn't find the other ring in his pocket. With this ring, I thee wed. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh! Good job, Caillou. Very nice, Rosie. But I dropped the rings and got my knees all dirty. But you found the rings again, and you were very polite. That's right. There may have been a couple of snags, but I think things ended just perfectly. <laughs> Here, Rosie. Caillou was glad that everything had turned out all right. And he was very, very glad he hadn't lost the wedding rings. Do, do. 